Hey there, fellow Chalk and friends. We're gonna start here in just a second because I think, hold your breath, I think I might actually have this all figured out. So give me one second and if I have it all figured out, we are going to be good to go. So just give me one more minute. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, it's nerve wracking. Aren't you impressed with my cute little sign that I have up? I'm hoping you can actually see it. <laughs> All right, so you ready? Okay, one more sec. Dun dun dun. Hi. Oh my gosh, check it out. <gasps> boom, boom. Isn't that crazy? Hey, Deb. Um, how are you tonight? So you like my, ooh, look at how up close and personal I am. I could, like, I could probably take my cheat, no, I could still take my cheaters off and <laughs> see it. Oh, you like my sign? Oh, thank you so much. Um, so I have figured out, I think, if I can get this to stop talking at me, I have figured out how to, are you ready for this? Ah, show you my hands while I am chalking and I can go back and forth. This is like, whew, big deal. Oh, Carol, I'm glad you like my sign. Okay. Wow, looks like you're being all techie. I know, doesn't it look like I like actually know what I'm doing? <laughs> okay, so wait, now this is where it gets really fun. Ready for this? Ah! <laughs> you can see both. All right, so this is my big accomplishment for the day. And I owe this big techie accomplishment to some very special people. Now the only thing is now I gotta figure out where I'm supposed to look. Okay, I think I got it. But if I look over there, then I can't read your comments. Oh well, we'll figure it out. But I owe this major technology breakthrough to two very special groups of women. First of all, there's my Texas Chalkin' friends, Chalkin' y'all who uh, set me up with the most beautiful iPad I have ever seen in my whole life. And then there is that baby mama who uh, lent me her new, or her old iPhone, which is what's giving me the ability to uh, do all this. So thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies, because now look, check us out. We are like in the big leagues now. What I like about this is the ability to actually show you more detail of what I am doing. So I'm hoping that this helps you to see more of how I make the projects. So, whew, I'm just proud that I, happy that I could push all the buttons and make it work. So tonight's project, yeah, well, we only need two of these. Tonight's project, uh, we're gonna do on, um, this is the box frame. These are five by seven box frames. And I did wax them, I'm just need, giving them another minute because I do need to buff them. And we're having a little, you know, Saturday night cocktail in time. And we're gonna do, ooh, that, that is a bad glare. We are going to do wine, try this way, wine knot. And I have mixed drinks up here. Maybe if I go like this, here we go. I have mixed drinks about feelings. Here, let's do this. Very dear. Check it out. I have mixed drinks about feelings and why not? Are our two projects for this evening. And we're gonna do them in these cute little box frames. So, get you back there. Look at how I can just go back and forth like that. Oh my goodness. I should not be so proud of myself, but I am. Because I really had nothing to do with it. It's all these lovely women that support me that uh, have made all this possible. This little guy I think is gonna be super cute in this little frame. So what I'm making these for is a school auction that they're having and they have some packages that they're doing that include some you know, fun nights out and uh, I'm just making these little signs to compliment them so that they have something on the tables at the auction. So that's what I'm making for. So they don't really have to match, nor are they going to match given the colors that I have picked out. So let's do our little wine one first. So it's this really cute little wine bottle. And as you look on here, he has, check out how I can show you this. He has the register marks on him, um, which make it super easy to line him up. And then he says, 
why not? So we're gonna do our wine bottle in, check this out too, look at how well I, oops, if I could figure out. You're gonna see the colors, I think, so much better than you've ever been able to see the colors before. Okay, so don't look at my ugly uh, chalk containers because this guy obviously is messy, but. So this is Current Jam, and you can see how that separation in color in there is. We're gonna, um, we're gonna stir that up. And then we're gonna do it in, ooh, wait, this is a new one. I have one that's not new. Where is the not new one? Um, oh, that's why he's new, is this one is almost empty. Sorry, I'm throwing things around. So this is fresh linen. I'll show you, I'll show you in this one because this this is the almost dead one, but this is fresh linen. So we're gonna do these two colors together for our uh, fancy wine bottle. Now, Sherry McCormick, what the heck are you doing watching me? You are on vacation in Hawaii. Seriously, ma'am. There's isn't there some beautiful Hawaiian sunset or some fancy Hawaiian drink you should be drinking? And oh, maybe Sherry, we're doing this in honor of your vacation. There we go. So I'm just cleaning up my chalk container to get this gunk out of here because I don't want to stir that in. So I am just kind of going around with my fancy little tool here, which is just my Cricut tool. It's a weeding tool. So that's how I clean it up. The other way I can do that is with uh, um, an X-Acto knife. That's the other thing that I use. So, in fact, I'm going to clean them up just a little bit more because I don't want to stir all that into my chalk. Over a little bit of it isn't too big of a deal because it um, will rehydrate while it's in there, but I don't really want that much of it in. So I'm gonna get some in here. I'm just gonna tap that out. Okay, so we're gonna stir this guy up, and ooh, he's a nice consistency. See how um, beautiful of a consistency he is. So this is what you're looking for when you stir. And see, that all that coloration separation that we had is all gone. And I'll tell you the reason why I get that. I get that because when I put my paste away, I spray them with just a little spritz of water before I put them away. And that way, they don't dry out as fast, they last longer. So, I'm gonna open, okay, so this is the one thing I gotta work on is getting here. So, my angles are different. Hi, honey. It's working. Oh, shh. I'm not, he's not here. He's a figment of my imagination. He's stealthy. He's getting in and out really fast. Okay, so I'm opening up my container, and this is where I just use my little X-Acto knife guy around. And I get all this off, and I'm going to stir this guy, too. I'm going to move this guy out of my way. So, oops. See, now see how he is more, it's not chunky, he's just stiff. And he's stiff because he's new, and he's really new. Um, he came in one of those uh, really cold orders that I had, so he froze. And that's okay when your chalk freezes. You don't want to store them someplace that they're going to freeze. But see how, as I stir him up, he loosens up. See how you can see how he's loosening up as I stir? Um, but I'm gonna add some water, just to kind of get it. Just a little bit, just give him a little sprig. Not a lot, you never, you can always add less, or you can't, you know what I mean. Don't add a lot because you can always add more. So I'm just stirring away. We're not gonna use a ton of this because this is just gonna be the outline. Um, and then we're gonna use this on the other one. We're gonna, this will be the color that the um, glass is for the mixed drinks guy. So, just stirring him. So see now how he's di a different consistency? That's what you're looking for. He's still a little thick, but that's okay. All right, and then what I do is I just set my tops right on top of them so that they're not drying out while I'm getting ready. This is my other one that's almost dead. So I'm just gonna close him up. I'm not gonna use him tonight. Okay, so I waxed this guy and now I need to buff him. And that's just very simple. Just to get that excess wax off 
because that's what prevents your transfers from sticking is if it's got too much wax on it and it isn't absorbed into the wood. So I'm just buffing them up a little bit. So these uh, board and box frames are really nice little frames. Um, they stand. Oh, here. I know. Hmm, I don't know how to show you that angle. They stand and they're two sided. You can chalk, if I hadn't gotten stuff on him, <laughs> he's got wax on the back of him. Um, you can chalk on both sides of the box, so, or the frame. So this is a really nice board because you can mix them up. All right, so we have our little wine mat. I've got my Sharpie, I've got my scissors, and I just cut them apart. Now he has those register marks on him, but we're gonna have to do that trick we did the other night when we used the painter's tape because this is a white board. It's not a chalkboard that you can just wash it off. This is a wood board. These are one-time use boards. These are not, you know, wash off over and over again and reuse. So I'm just going to get some painter's tape ready so that I can put it down. And that way I can chalk the register marks and then just take the painter's tape off. So this one gets the wine knot. And this one gets wine bottle. That just helps me know which side is the back and which piece goes on which one. So when you look at this, you chalk this piece first and then this one goes over it. So that's how it works. And it, it's actually a really skinny little transfer. Um, I am also going to fuzz him. Because he's brand new and he's going on a kind of fibrous board. So I take my little fuzzing cloth and I take my, uh, put my transfer down and take my backer off of the transfer. And then I fuzz. And I just pick up some lint. Oops, this is the second piece. Okay, wait. He's got to sit here for a minute. I, that's the wrong piece. We're starting with, the, we start with the bottom of the bottle, not the top of the bottle. Okay, so what are you guys thinking of this new uh, system we got going here? Are you liking it? Do you uh, prefer it the other way? Um, I mean, I realize we're, we're, you know, what, 10 minutes into a project, but what do you think? Because the first time I did this, I just did my hands, because I got this fancy camera stand for Christmas, and I tried doing just my hands, and you guys didn't like it. Okay, so I'm putting my wine bottle in, trying to center him. And there's a lot of screen on this guy. So I'm gonna push my air out. You see, I just push my air out. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see better now how that, see how that transfer is moving? That's how I know there's still air in it. And this is a lot of transfer. There's a lot of airspace to this one. And I need to get my register marks underneath here. Oh, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Carol loves it. Okay. Then I will keep forging on in my technology quest. I don't usually go live on Saturday night, but I was so excited. Ooh, Debbie thinks it's so much better. Thank you, Debbie, and not thank me. Thank you for my beautiful eyes. And I got a lot of air. So... This is one of those transfers where he's got a lot of air and not a lot of stick space. So it's more challenging sometimes to get the air out. Because he just, there's not a lot of sticking part. All right, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. All right, so I still do have some air in here. So what I'm really doing is I'm just pushing the air out. The other thing you can do, although I don't recommend doing it a ton, is you can actually squeegee it. Um, you don't want to do that too much because it really puts a lot of pressure on the back of your transfers, and that's a stickability issue. All right, so I'm stirring up. Ooh, this is a really nice consistency. And I am going to simply dip and go. Now I want to be careful. <laughs> very careful because it'd be really easy for me you know to whoosh right off and then I have chalk where I don't want chalk and because this is a one-time use board I'm not going to get 
a lot of uh, options to fix. Okay, so see, I, I squeegee up and down. I don't squeegee flat. If I squeegee flat, that's what I get. If I squeegee up and down, this is what I get. So I get, it's much more clean. It's much more crisp. You don't get the big globs. And then I just take all this excess and I just squeegee it right back into my container. That's how I get my the sides of my containers gloppy. Okay, so now as you can see, I'll show you here. See this? Wrong way. This is air. So that's why I say you gotta try to get all that air out. So what's gonna happen when I lift that up? I wanna gotta make sure I did the transfer, the register marks. Um, when I lift that up, you'll see it's that part is just not as smooth. So let me pull off my transfer. And it did bleed slightly. And that's again because I had air. I stick him in my water bath. So see now take a look at him. See how He's not completely as smooth as everything else, and he's got that little blip up on the top of his bottle that he's not supposed to have. You can also see the register marks on the painter's tape, so that's how I'm going to line him up. So, I'm going to dry him, and then we will do the bottle over. So the... I'll show you him when he's dry, now that you can have a really good angle to see the chalk. Um, because the chalk changes color completely when it's dry. The, the colors tend to pop more when they're dry. And I really want to make sure he's dry because I'm going to layer him. See how different he looks now? He's not, he, first of all, he doesn't have a sheen to him, but he also doesn't have that gloppy coloring that he had before. Okay? So, he is dry. Now, I, I could fix this little guy on the top. And I don't really need to, though, because when I look at what's going to go over him, see, I'll show you. When I lay this over him, you're not really gonna see that. So it's not that big of a deal. So I lay this down and I line up my register marks. I hope, okay. I think the register marks are really better <laughs> if you are chalking in white. So he is supposed to be slightly offset. I like him not offset, if that makes sense. Um, but that's really not lined up according to the register marks. The register marks, I mean, he really is supposed to be slightly off. Where you have a little bit of the bottle. Does that, can you, does that make sense? Can you see that? So here he is almost completely lined up. And then I move him and then I start all over. Yeah, I think the register marks really only work on white. Or either that or I need to change the color of my painter's tape. That might work too, if I change the color of my painter's tape. Because the dark blue painter's tape, you just... You can see. There's not really a lot of wrong or right to this guy. Because as long as it looks alright, you're good. So, I'm just going to lay him down. Push my air up. And then we're going to go right over him. We were going to use fresh linen, which I think will show up. I'm a little curious to see. Maybe we'll do Storm. What do you think? Should we do Storm? This is really close in color. See how close in color that is? Oops. I'm thinking maybe we should do Storm. So Storm would give me, because I don't, care if it matches the other one that we're doing. I think Storm gives me more vibrancy on the board. What do you think, ladies? Should we do Storm or should we do Fresh Linen? Now I think with my, now that I've got this new fancy system, I think there's even more of a delay than there was before. So 
I'm going to give you a minute to decide. And while you do that, I'm going to clean off my squeegee. So see how, I, how I've always said it's easier to clean off your squeegee when they're wet? This guy dried a little bit, so he just gets a little more challenging to clean up. No, not a big deal. Yeah, I think I should do... I think we should do Storm. Wendy says Storm. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I agree. I think we should do Storm. Hey, Wendy, I've been checking out all your... You are a one talented lady. Holy cow, Wendy. Wow. I wish I had half your talent. <laughs> that is a, what you can create with a sewing machine is absolutely amazing to me. Um, that is not at all anything I have. All right, so I'm going to just put my lid right on fresh linen because we're going to use that on the other one. Debbie says storm too, so we're going with our storm color. All right, so here too. See how much more smooth this is than that one that I opened up that I needed to add the water to? This is, again, because I stir them before I close them, and then I just give them that little spritz of water. Oops. And then they get those dry chunks on your project, so you just always got to be careful with the dry chunks. Okay, so I stir them up. And I'm going to dip and go. Dip and go. Careful not to get chalk anywhere other than my transfer because it will be challenging to get off. So now I just squeegee right over my lines. Okay, so see the lines? Though That's when I always say you want to get rid of your lines because you will see that when you pull your transfer up. So when you're chalking or I'm sorry, squeegeeing, when you're squeegeeing, you want it to look like this. You don't want to see those big lines because if you see those big lines, when you pull your transfer up, you're going to see them. Okay, so. He is cute, but I will show him to you and I'll tell you what happened. It actually doesn't look bad, but, um, and one of their packages is, is a champagne deal so this might be okay for the champagne deal but he did pull some of the paste off of with him so it actually looks like he has bubbles so it'll work for what we're doing but um, those bubble marks are because he wasn't dry enough when I put it on but oh, I guess <laughs> I'm not showing it to you that way anymore I'm showing it to you this way he looks okay um, because it's champagne, I'm not worried about it. If it wasn't champagne, I would lay the base back down and re- I might pop, I'll probably do that anyway. And just re-chalk it. Because that way, it won't have the bubbles. So I'm gonna dry it, because again, when you dry them, their color changes. And I don't wanna stick my finger in them, because you know, I always have a tendency to stick my finger in them. So what do you think? You think he looks enough like champagne that I'm okay? Or do you think I should fix it? He's kind of cute. I kind of like the color of the red. This is current jam. That's what this color is. It's current jam and storm. It's kind of cool. Alright, so this is project number one for the school auction. Next project we're going to do is I have mixed drinks about feelings. Okay, so I gotta tell you a funny story. I have to tell you a funny Charlie story because what would my day be like without a funny Charlie story, right? So my young master, Joseph, says to me, I wanna go to the mall with my friends. So this is how you clean up your chalks before you store them. Is I just go around, see how I get all that chunky stuff off the edges? You go around, I get those chunky things into the chalk because then they rehydrate. Okay, so I clean up my edges and I go like this, okay, and then I just give them one spritz, like that, and I put my top on. Well, okay, not yet. I have started doing this too, <laughs> so I can uh, not have such a hard time getting my packages or my containers open, because my old lady wrists are not enjoying that. I just go like that. Clean up the board. Okay, now I put my lid on. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. I like it too. So this transfer is super cute on um, wine bottles. 
So you can actually chalk this on the glass. And then I bought these really cute little fairy lights that in the cork has the on and off switch for the lights. And it's, this transfer is really cute on wine bottles. So if you're looking for something to do with all of your uh, excess wine bottles, this is a, a great little gift to give people. Okay, so that's our little cute wine nut. Okay, so do you guys think I should redo the, get rid of the bubbles? Or you think it's okay with the bubbles? So they're doing a like champagne and chocolate thing and they were looking for a little sign um, to kind of just go with it so that they had something, you know, more substantial for the auction. I don't know. What do you think? Get rid of the bubbles or keep the bubbles? Okay. While you're deciding, now I'm going to clean up. Oops. I'm moving my projects out of the way. I'm trying to be better about that. Again, I'm going to do this with my current jam. Just get him all cleaned up. I just stick this right in my water bath or I wash them off with my, my wipe, one of the two. Go around the edges. Give them, this one is pretty hydrated already, so I'm not going to give him a lot of spritz and just a little tiny spritz. And he's good to go. Okay. We are moving on to I've got mixed drinks about feelings. So this one, they have a couple packages I think could go well with. Um, you know, what is a school auction without lots of alcohol, right? <laughs> So this guy is super cute on towels, I have to say. Um, I've seen this guy done in some really cute little, um, like a tea towel for a kitchen. So I was thinking we're gonna do our little, I consider this a margarita glass. Ooh, Wendy says keep the bubbles. Okay, thanks Wendy. So I'm gonna do our little glass, mixed drinks about feelings. And then on our little stir stick, we're going to put a cherry and a lime because of the colors I picked out. So I picked out, because I thought these, these are kind of fun, kind of jazzy little colors. So I thought we are going to do these, we're going to do like a hot mess for the cocktail. And then we'll do fresh linen. I was going to do fresh linen for the words again, but maybe we should do storm. Maybe we'll try fresh linen for our, our stick. And then we're going to put our cherry on the stick and our orange coming out of the drink. So this will be, um, cherry will be poppy and our lime will be, this is actually called lime, lime green. And then we're going to do guava and white for our drink. And we'll wait to do the words just because I want to see how fresh linen shows up on this cup backing. Okay, so I think we have enough room. Yeah, got enough room. So I need my Sharpie. And we're going to put drink glass, I guess, on the back. I could have just put glass, I suppose. Mixed. I have mixed. Stir stick, lime, and cherry. Okay, so my funny, sorry, I got distracted. My funny Charlie story. So Joseph decided he wanted to go to the mall with his friends. Joseph never does this kind of stuff. So I try to be a really supportive mom, but it's really hard for me <laughs> because I like him home. And I know, Wendy, you know, you've got this, you've got girls, right? So I have this, you know, you gotta send him out there into the world. But they wanted to go to the mall for three hours. I'm like, come on. Bunch of teenagers, 15 year olds in the mall for three hours, what are you gonna do? No, you can't go for three hours. If you wanna go eat dinner and walk around for an hour, fine. So then I said to him, I said, we'll come to the mall so you can stay longer with your friends so it's not like, you know, you've got this big mean mom that won't let you stay. But um, we'll just be in the mall. We'll leave you alone. We're not going to stalk you. We're not even going to try to find you. But we'll just be in the mall. I don't know why I needed to do this. It was a mental thing. And, um, hang on. I'm getting distracted by colors because we're going to, I was going to do the stem of the glass in this color too. I think we're going to do the stem of the glass in Storm. 
just to be safe. Did I put Storm away? No, I did not. Okay, so <laughs> then I decided I was being overprotective and I should just let the poor kid go. So then my little kids were disappointed because I had told them that I was going to take them to the mall, which I never do. I can't, I hate the mall. I haven't been to the mall other than working in the mall last weekend. That was the first time I'd been in the mall in, okay, wait a minute. I'm breaking cardinal rules because I'm busy talking. Before you ever put chalk on your project, you have all of your paste open, ready, and stirred because you do not want to dry. So I'm getting them all ready to go. And my white is a little dry. So my little kids were disappointed because they really wanted to go to the mall because this is like a big deal to them because you know it's, I think, twice in Ella's little life have I ever taken her to the mall. So I'm like, fine, we'll go to the mall. So we go to the mall and we walk by Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> and Charlie, <laughs> he could just not handle. And right next to Victoria's Secrets was pink or, and then there was the next door and they all had these mannequins with bras and underpants on it. Oh my goodness, this poor little man, he just could not handle. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Can we walk faster? I can't do this. We got to get out of here. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, oh, dude, you you were just a little boy who, you know, all he could see was his underwear. All right, so I'm going to put my storm on for my the base of my little cocktail mug. Okay, and I'm going to leave it on, uh, not like my final squeegee. And I'm going to do that because... I don't want it to dry out. And then on my bottom, I'm just going to put a little bit of guava. I want more guava than that. Okay, so see my little tiny dots of guava. And then I'm going to do white. Little tiny dots of white. That's probably more over there than I need. Just moving it down. Okay. And then I'm going to use the best tool we all have, right? And I'm just going to mix them together. And I'm going to try really hard to stay on my transfer and not go off of my transfer. This is going to give me a little bit more of a, you know, not such a bright orange, but more like you've got a cocktail with ice cubes look. So I've got that on there now. Now I'm ready to squeegee. So this is kind of, it's a little hot mess, but it's more hot mess intentionally than pure hot messes. So now I just squeegee this off. And I get a wipe. I cannot put this back in because it's going to contaminate my color. And I do want probably a little more orange, not so white. So I'm just going to, you know, mix that in a little more. Okay, so I just squeegee this off and now because I, my squeegee is clean I can just do my storm on the bottom and it didn't dry okay and now we just peel it up and we're gonna get a fun looking cocktail oh look at that I might actually no I don't I wouldn't drink it but I might drink it so see a cute little cocktail well, it probably makes more sense if it was actually in the right direction so it kind of looks a little ice cubey so we're gonna dry him Put my uh, transfer right in my water bath. Make sure my squeegees are clean before I put them back. So I took Joe to the mall. It was just him and I. And, um, you know, my kid never does this stuff. And I want him to do that stuff. I want him to go out. I want him to feel free to be with his friends and to have fun. And, but it was so hard to just drop him off at the mall because he was a little uncomfortable because he's never done this before. So he's like, are you coming in with me? And I'm like, no. Do you need me to? I mean, I can if you need me to, but do you really want me to? He's like, well, no, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, well, bye. <laughs> Get out of the car. <laughs> so I couldn't decide if he was trying to make me feel better or if I was trying to make him feel better. It was one of them. But then he walked in and I thought, you know what? There goes a very nice young man. I'm a very, very lucky woman to have such an amazing young man in my life. Okay, so I am drying my cocktail. And again,
again, it's gonna change colors when I dry it. And I'll show it to you again once he's dry. I really wanna make sure he's dry because I'm gonna do a little layering. And I don't want this one to pull off like the other one did. Part of that is the wax. Cause just like it, it makes the transfer not stick, sometimes it can make the um, chalk not stick as long either. As well, because it, I didn't dry it long enough and I didn't give it enough time to wax. Okay, so here's our cute little cocktail. So now, I think we do the stir stick first and then we put our things on the stir stick. Or do we put the stir, no, yeah. We could just put a little half lime with it. I think we need the stir stick. So we're gonna do the little stir stick. And I still haven't solved our, oh, we're gonna try the stir stick. So I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm off, I'm off camera. I am going to fuzz our stir stick just a little bit and I'm especially gonna fuzz this bottom portion here that's gonna go over the chalk. Okay, so I just I'm gonna put my little stir stick down and I'm not gonna push it too hard on this end because I don't wanna really stick it hard. And then I'm gonna again just use my little, I have this little tiny squeegee guy that's just a cut up bigger squeegee. And this is gonna be our test to does this color show up? So this color is fresh linen, um, which is just a very pale gray white. So, oh, you can see him, he's, he's faint, but you can see him. So I won't do the words in that color. I think the words should be, we'll probably do the, I don't know what, we'll, maybe. Maybe we'll do the words in guava. I don't know. We gotta come up with a color for the words now. So again, I'm just gonna dry them really well because we're gonna put the lime and the cherry over them. There's not a lot of chalk there, right? You know, it's just this little tiny stir stick. So just give them a good dry. He's all dry. I do have to be conscious of the fact that my dryer is not a dryer. It's a heat gun. So it does heat up your surface a little bit. So you just gotta be careful. Okay, so that's our stir stick. And where'd my cherry go? <laughs> oh, Mr. Cherry! Where are you hiding, Mr. Cherry? Okay, I have a nice drink about feeling. Oh, there he is, stuck in the towel. So I think the cherry should go on top and the little lime should go towards the bottom. So, I'm gonna fuzz, 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 and fuzz some more. So this guy's going down here. Um, I don't know, should we, I don't know if we do it in guava if it's too samey-samey to the cocktail. Maybe we should do it in poppy, the cherry color. Okay, so he's really well fuzzed. And I'm just gonna stick him right on. Okay, so this is this goes to show you how much I don't drink. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Should he be all the way off? And then the cherry? Should any part of him be in the cocktail? Because if I put it that way, if I unless I don't chalk it, let's maybe we should do it that way. If I do it this way, see how you can see the drink? I can put a piece of tape there and then it'll look like he's in the drink. I think I should do it that way. And then when it's time to put the cherry down, it gives me a little more room to do the cherry. Right? I think I should, yeah, I think we should do it that way. Okay. Gonna fuzz him while we do that. I'm gonna put a little tiny piece of painter's tape there so that I don't. And I don't want to put the painter's tape on the chalk, which is why I'm ripping it into. I just want enough of it to cover it up so that I don't. Um, chalk there. Okay, so 
again, we're going to get all ready. We've got our key lime green. This was a very popular color at um, Halloween time. It was a very nice Halloween color. It's a very bright, very pretty green. So I thought he was good limey. Well, since his name is Lime, right? <laughs> Should be Lime, right? Okay, so I'm just stirring him up. Again, I'm just going to use that little tiny squeegee guy. So that's one of the nice things about the squeegees is you can um, cut them if you need to. Now that they came out with the mini guy, I haven't cut them as much as I used to cut them. The mini guy really solved a lot of those problems. You can also use the multi-tool. The multi-tool is also another um, really nice one. Check this out. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> I forgot to do that. Please share my video. Get an opportunity to. It helps me very much if you share my video. So I always appreciate it if you do that. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, he does look like he's in the drink. Check him out. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. That cute little lime. Wow. Okay, I kind of like him. He probably should be over a little bit more. But he is cute. Okay, so let's dry him. So that I can put my tray on. Then we'll do the words. So if you can share my video, I very, very much appreciate it. It helps me very much if you share my video. Um, and I do, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it when you do that. And I'm just getting ready now. Oops, I need to get my poppy color out and ready. Oh, I don't think I... I must have used poppy. Now you can really see up close and personal that faces I have to make while I try to get these chalk containers open. I'm going to move my project so that I don't have flying chalk when I finally do succeed in getting it open. Okay, so this is a very pretty color. Um, it's not a bright red, so it's not a true cherry color. I mean, you could do candy apple red, I suppose. But I kind of liked the color with the lime. I think they go, I think these colors go really well together. It's kind of more, not cartoonish, but, um, I don't know, artistic. I don't know, I can't come up with the word. So now I'm going to put my cherry on. So should his little stem go that way probably, right? This is going to be cute. So now we just dip and go. You know what? I am going to actually use the multi-tool. What's nice about, and don't look, mine are not very clean. This little guy is really a nice tool. And he's a nice tool for a couple reasons. He gives you, he works like a pencil. So he, in, especially in like little spaces where you're trying to get something but you don't want to get it everywhere, it works really well because it's more of what your fingers are naturally used to. Um, and then this side of him is made to stir and go around the edges of your chalk. Um, I've never, I don't, I just tend not to stir them that way. Um, I should, honestly, because it would probably be much easier, but I choose not to do that. So then this guy, see, he just works much more like a pencil. And it's a nice size. He gets you in the place as well. Okay, so, yeah, so it cleans up really nice. We've got our cherry, and now I okay. I think he's he's too high. Darn it all! Don't you think he's too high? Oh wait, this way. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get it down. Don't worry. He should be closer to the line. Oh goodness, darn it all. What else could we put inside there? And he's red. Red is the one color that's really hard to get off. What do you think, Debbie? Do you think my space is too goofy? Let me, I can zoom you in. Or maybe, I, maybe if I can, I've got bats on there. Okay, why is it not letting me zoom you in? Hang on. Hang on. Zoom. Can I zoom? Is that on? Turn on zoom. Okay. 
You just want to zoom. Never mind. I'm not zooming you. I'll just lift you up. So do you think that space looks too goofy? I don't know. Well, it is what it is. Hey, Anne-Marie. Welcome to our... We're having a little cocktail tonight. Okay, so I'm going to, again, you just go around the edges. Again, this is what your multi-purpose tool would do as well. It, the multi-purpose tool gets more in around the, the edge of the inside. This gets, I find, more on the outside. So you just... What if I add another lime kind of cockeyed? Um, there's just such a little space between them. Maybe an orange. Maybe we should do that. Like a quarter of an orange, maybe? What do you think that way? Let me get the little lime guy out. Because I put him in the water bath. Didn't I? No, oh, he's sunk. Nope, that's the cherry. There he is. We could put a little, maybe a chunk of an orange. And then I was thinking we could, because originally I was going to do an orange. Then we could go marigold or orange, actual orange peel. We could try a little, a little piece of an orange, but it's really tiny. I don't know how much of it we're going to get in there. Let's try fuzzing them up and laying them down and seeing what we can get. Turn our mistake into my mistake into a. Yeah, you're not gonna know what it is. It's not enough space. If I, if I could fold this like, oh no, don't do it that way, Maria. If I could fold it this way, maybe. All right, let's try that. What if I really, in theory? Okay, where'd my fingers tip go? So I literally just do that much of him. He's gonna cover the cherry a little bit, but that's okay, I think. Well, what? Well, we can always put the cherry back on. We can do another cherry. All right, so what do you think of that? If we just try to, let's try it. What the heck, right? We have nothing to lose. This is a totally wrong color though, right? I mean, he looks good with this, and he looks good with, I guess, maybe not. Or should we go true orange? Let's open this one up. Ooh, he's brand new. I think the other one, <laughs> thanks, Debbie. <laughs> thanks for the encouragement, Debbie. I'm glad you think I can do it. All right, so first we made our wine. We did a little wine drinking. Did a little wine knot. It's really a bottle of champagne because it's, it's got cute little bubbles on it because this is for the school auction. Debbie says true orange. All right, we're going true orange. I have too many things out. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna Hey, baby mama. We talked about you earlier. So, Cassidy, thank you so much. This is your iPhone, which is giving us this amazing technology. Where did I go? How did I end up way up in the corner? Now you can, can you really only see half of my head? <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> All right, hang on. Let's go back to here. Let's do that. And let's try this. Do I come back? No. How did I get way up there? All right. Hang on. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just, for the rest of our viewing pleasure, we'll skip the half of Maria's head. But check this out. Woohoo! Please share my video. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. So Cassidy, thank you so much. Your iPhone is working tremendously with the lovely lady's iPad. 
So this guy is really watery. Really watery. So I'm he he needs no water and he's brand new. So sometimes um, an orange has a tendency to be like this because there's a lot of pigment in orange. So you have to be really careful because these bleed when they're this watery, super easy. So what some people do, I've never done it because the black is like this a lot when you get a brand new black. There's nothing wrong with them. It just has to do with the pigment. It's still chalk. It's still going to dry the same way. It just goes on differently. So if you leave them out and you leave the they tend to dry out. So that's one way to kind of make it thicker. Some people put cornstarch in it. I've never done that. So I'm going to be very careful and I'm because he's watery. I'm just going to do a little bit because we're trying to fix that little hole I made that I did not want by adding an orange to our lime and our cherry. And we're going to hope. Well, okay. It worked, kind of. I'll show you. We're going to need to lay him back down. So he kind of worked, but I didn't do enough of him <laughs> to go around to the lime. So I got to figure out how we're going to fix that. And maybe that's just by, I just need to put a line there, right? If I put a line here, it'll look like a half an orange. So, how I make, how I solve that problem. Whoa, we are, this, hey, this is an educational video, ladies. We are solving all kinds of problems tonight. We are going to take a little tiny paintbrush. Where's my good one? You know how you have your favorites? Because they have the right amount of brush or the least amount of brush or okay I don't have any of my favorites in here so I don't want to try this one where's my favorites all right well what I'm gonna do he's not dry yet anyway so I can't do it I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and I'm gonna put a little line there and that will complete our half of an orange so I'm actually gonna, I'm not worried about covering this one up because I want him to dry out just a little bit because he's super watery. I'm gonna wash off my squeegee. I'm going to put all of our lids back on. Everybody else, oops, wrong color. This goes over here. Just I just lay the lids on top of them. I don't, because I wanna clean them up before I put them away. So now all we have left on this guy is our words. And we were gonna do the words in the same color that we did the stir stick, which is fresh linen, but I think they're gonna be really hard to see if we do it that way. But I like that color tone on it um, because I think that color tone kind of goes, so I think we either need to do it in storm or we need to do fresh linen. What do you ladies think? Storm or fresh linen are your choices for our words, which say I have mixed drinks about feelings. Share, 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 Maria. Hey, thank you, Verge. Did you see, Verge? It's on the screen. Please share my video. I am in the big leagues now, Verge. I am moving on up in the world because I have these amazing women, Virginia, all of you amazing women that watch me and support me and help me out and thank you thank you all of you for all of your wendy says storm okay we're going storm anybody else got a vote cassidy says storm okay we're going storm so i take it we haven't had a baby yet cassidy <laughs> are you in the hospital going <laughs> storm <laughs> i'm sorry i'm being a bad aunt it's Saturday night. I'm sorry, Cassidy. I apologize. I'll hang my head in shame. As I stir my chalk. <laughs> Everybody says storm. All right. Gonna dip and go. I like this one better than I like the wine one. I think because I like the colors better. It's just maybe because to me there's spring. There's hope. <laughs> Today was a gorgeous day, but tomorrow's gonna be icky again. Okay, so... Again, I don't want any lines in my chalk. 
if I have that, see that big line in the middle of that? If I have that line now, when I pull off my transfer, that line will be there. So, she says, no baby yet. Shouldn't taken leftover spaghetti because, oh, should have taken. <laughs> yes, you should have. Oh my gosh, there was enough of it left. Oh my goodness, ladies. Look at how cute this sign is. Okay, check it out. Oh my gosh, this could be like the cutest thing ever. Holy cow. So, I would bid on this at an auction. So we have our two little signs that we're complimenting the school. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't know, you don't need to see me. Um, we're, it's because they it blocks my voice, that's why I feel like I have to do this. Um, these are our two little signs for the school auction to help support. Uh, the education program at our school. So I'm loving these signs. So first we're gonna now I'm gonna take that away and then watch get this gets better. Check this out. Ooh, did you see those fancy graphics? Okay. So if you're interested in Club Couture, because the next month is coming up, um, and it's super cute. So if you want the you want to join Club Couture, you want to do it before April first, um, so that you get April's transfer. And it's super cute and very springy. Um, so if you want to do Club Couture comment club in your comments, and I will send you just the general info on what you do to Club Couture. And did you did you see that? Now wait, this gets better too. Woo! <laughs> if you're curious at all about the craziness that Marie is doing and what the heck Club Couture is and what it means to be a designer, you can comment curious, and I will send you some general information about what it means to be a designer. Okay, so let's take that away and let's go back here so you can see our cute look at how cute they are can you tell i'm proud of myself <laughs> and i'm not afraid to say it i am so proud of us oh my okay so these are two cute little signs i'm in love with this one i like our little cocktail i think he totally looks like a cocktail he'd probably be a cosmopolitan right yeah i'm going with the cosmopolitan I like the wine, but it's the colors. So, and I don't know what other color you would do to be wine, you know? I mean, I suppose if you did it on a blackboard, you could do white wine. But it's not like, you know, hot mess or commingled colors would be wine. You're kind of really limited, I think, with the wine as to what your color choices are. But, okay, this is what I got. Thank you again so much to all of you wonderful ladies for watching me, sharing me, supporting me, helping me with my technology so that we, it's only taken me, let's see, what is it? It's March. I got this camera stand for Christmas. It's only taken me three and a half months to figure out how to make it all work. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a lovely Saturday night and I will be back at you tomorrow. I am making Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. Have a good night. How do I turn it off? Oh wait, okay, I know. See ya.